friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 21 to 16. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner going out at daybreak to hire workers for his vineyard. He made an agreement with the workers for one denarius a day and sent them to his vineyard. Going out at about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, You go to my vineyard too and I will give you a fair wage. So they went. At about the sixth hour and again at about the ninth hour, he went out and did the same. Then at about the eleventh hour, he went out and found more men standing around. And he said to them, Why have you been standing here idle all day? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, You go into my vineyard too. In the evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his bailiff, Call the workers and pay them their wages, starting with the last arrivals and ending with the first. So those who were hired at about the eleventh hour came forward and received one denarius each. When the first came, they expected to get more, but they too received one denarius each. They took it, but grumbled at the landowner. The men who came last, they said, have done only one hour, and you have treated them the same as us though we have done a heavy day's work in all the heat. He answered one of them and said, My friend, I am not being unjust to you. Did we not agree on one denarius? Take your earnings and go. I choose to pay the last comer as much as I pay you. Have I no right to do what I like with my own? Why be envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first and the first last. all equal why should you be envious because i chose to be generous there's a tendency to gauge our worth by what we do measuring it up against what others do and this is more so when we consider the johnny come late leaves where they was when things was really tight and all the donkey work was being done to get things off the ground what right they have now to be in the spotlight claiming equal recognition after all has been said and done? This is true about home, the workplace, and even church. Jesus sets us straight in this parable, highlighting some truths about the kingdom and the worth and value of each subject. Each is valued and measured, not so much for what we do but for who we are, beloved children of God, called to share in his inheritance, even if in the eyes of others, we don't seem to deserve it. It doesn't matter if you ain't wash your foot and you're just jumping, or if you dare since four day morning. All are we is one family, equal among equals. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.